Hi, I'm Cindy Kruger and today I'm going to show you how to capture your process your bank reconciliation in Legal Suite. To access your bank reconciliation, you click on the bank business ledger icon on your top toolbar. You'll then click on the third icon, which is your bank reconciliation icon. And here you're going to select which bank account are you wanting to reconcile. Remember the bank reconciliation is balancing your physical bank statement with the transactions that appear in Legal Suite. So in this example, I'm going to use a trust bank account. And you'll see that the system brings through all the transactions for your trust bank account. My filter is currently set to not show the ones that have been allocated. So it just shows me all the transactions, reconciled or unreconciled, that appear in my business ledger. What you'll then do is you'll take your physical bank statement and you're going to work through your physical bank statement and reconcile the items. So let's say, for example, our first one that we highlighted on, this item appeared in the bank statement. You can either click on the very left-hand column, like that, or highlight the transaction and you can select Reconcile. So we're going to say those two transactions went through, this payment went through, and for example, this 5,000 Rand went through. So now I've reconciled my physical bank statement with my bank reconciliation my bank reconciliation. Now what you need to do is you would need to fill in the physical ending balance on your bank statement. So in our example it's 15404.06 and you'll see now the difference of my bank reconciliation is zero. So my bank reconciliation is in balance. There are options down at the bottom here where you can use the find option. You can use recon number, voucher, amount or date. So let's say, for example, we select amount and we're looking for the amount of 8,500 Rand. There's two options here. There's a right-facing arrow and a left-facing arrow. So what it does is, let's say, for example, you're standing on this transaction and you want to look below the highlighted transaction, you'll click on the right arrow. If you're wanting to search above, you'll click on the left arrow, for example, like that, and it will jump up and show you the 8,500 Rand. There's also a sort option, so you can sort by date, recon number, type, reconciled, amount, and voucher. So I'm going to select amount, and you'll see that the system automatically places the items in amount order. You'll see that there's transactions that have like multiple pages on. These are what we call breakdown transactions. So let's say, for example, your receptionist got five cash payments this morning, so you want to have that all in one amount that you're going to cash at the bank. You'll then capture all those receipts in one batch and the system will automatically put it as a breakdown. So in this example, if you click on the breakdown icon, you'll see that there were three here, a 500, a 15 and a 500. And that makes up the total of this deposit of 2,500 Rand. You can then obviously, if that is the right transaction, you can then reconcile. Now that our bank reconciliation is in balance, it's now time to go and print your bank recon. Here we have three options. You have standard, breakdown, and adjustments. Standard is just your standard bank recon, like what you see on the screen. It will print it out. The breakdown will show the items broken down, so your individual breakdown items. And adjustments will just print out the adjustments that's been added to the bank reconciliation. Adjustments are transactions that either people use it for unallocated deposits, but I always suggest you use a suspense matter for that, or sometimes auditor adjustments for the bank reconciliation. I'm going to select standard. Here you can filter what you want to appear. You say OK, and the bank reconciliation will then be sent to, to Excel for you, and you can see it shows all the transactions with the star. Those are the reconciled transactions. And here it's got a little balance for you, which shows your opening balance. That was the balance from your last bank reconciliation. If there are any adjustments, what's been reconciled, it will give you a total, and it will give you the ending balance on bank statement, and it will show you the difference of zero. This you can then save in Excel to a folder, or you can print it out and keep it for future reference. This is a filter option. It just allows you to filter this screen. And now, once you're happy and everything has been reconciled, what you need to do is you need to clear these transactions so that it your ending balance now becomes your new opening balance for the next month, day, whenever it is that you, ha or how you reconcile the transactions. 
So you'll click on the your allocate transactions. Once again, you can then reconcile on a daily basis if you like. So your bank statement number, you can put in the date that you reconciled. Or if you do it on a monthly basis, you can put the month, for example, February 2018. Just so you know at any stage, if you need to be able to go back and view what you allocated on that month or day, you're then able to do that. Then once you've filled in the bank statement, you say OK and it will tell you transactions allocated and you'll see that all the reconciled transactions that we reconciled has been allocated to the bank statement February 2018 and if we now go and look at our balances screen our new opening balance is 154406 which was our, open, our ending balance on our bank statement and that's it for bank recon